Hello, and welcome back to the thing where I talk about Nyx for a little while. Um, this one is going to be a little bit more advanced than some of the previous ones. Uh, I did a developer talk about Nyx a little bit while ago, a little while ago. It's about 12 minutes long, and uh, I'll link to that in the, the description, but you might want to watch that before this one, unless you're, you're okay with just being awash in a sea of complexity that you don't really understand. Um, so what we're going to do this time is I'm going to show you how to make a derivation in Nyx. So somebody just asked me this morning to uh, help package up a gem to run as a, a separate thing to install in Nix. So we did this recently with Solar Graph. So I can now do like Nix env ia Nix packages dot Solar Graph, and that installs Solar Graph, and then I can run Solar Graph. So that's a gem that we've bundled up in our our Nix packages overlay. So. We're going to do that with a gem called dbase, which is used for Ruby mine debugging. I'm not 100% sure this is going to actually work. Um, I'm sure I can get the gem package, but I'm not totally sure if this is actually the right solution. But we can work through this and see what's involved in packaging a gem this way, and then maybe it'll work. One way or another, it demonstrates what I want to demonstrate here. So. When you're packaging really anything in Nix packages, the first step is typically find an example of something very similar in Nix packages itself that you can crib from. So the first thing we want to do is dev clone nixos slash nix packages. In this case, I already have Nix packages. Uh, it takes a while to clone. And the the keyword I'm looking for is bundler app. So I'm gonna rip grab bundler app. And this, of course, is something that you wouldn't know ahead of time. But if you dig through so the source or Google, you'll find this is how you package up a gem to use as a separate thing to install. So there's lots of examples here. Let's find, I don't know, it's kind of arbitrary which one we pick. Let's look at show off. So we're going to CD into that directory. And here we'll see, OK, we've got four files, gem file, gem file.lock, default.nix, and gem set.nix. Now in any Nix derivation, if it's specified by directory, which this one is, default.nix is kind of like the index.html of, of Nix packages. So if we look at that, we'll see there's a whole bunch of stuff that you don't have to worry about here. Prim primarily, this whole meta block is used within actual upstream Nix packages itself to provide some documentation, just like you'd have in pretty much any other package manager. We don't need to do this in our own. Really what you're looking for is there's some kind of syntactic adornment here, and then you've got three attributes you have to set. The name of the gem, which is called pname, gemder, and then any binaries that that gem provides, which in this case is one called show off. Looking at the rest of this directory, you've got a gem file, which and this is the pattern for the way Bundler app works. Uh, as you'd see if you'd investigate more of these, you'd see really it's just source Ruby gems and then gem show off, which is the name of the gem you're packaging. Gemfile.lock is just what happens when you run bundle lock on this. And then gemset.nix is what you get when you run a tool called bundix on that gemfile.lock. So to do that, well, I'll show you how, how we do that later. First, I'm going to show you where we actually package this thing. So uh, we go dev clone dev because our next packages overlay is actually in the dev repository at a path at misc slash next packages overlay. And then from here, we see default.nix, which is a top level listing of all of the packages. So let's look at that. Now, what we have here is there's one, one thing in our overlay already called solar graph. And I happen to know this is uh, gem that's also packaged with bundler app. So just as a semi-arbitrary choice, I'm going to say we're packaging a gem called dbase, and I'm just going to emulate what was done there. Call package, packages, dbase, empty curlies, semicolon. OK. And then that seems to imply that we should have, uh, I'm going to cd back into the overlay seems to imply that we should have a directory at packages slash dbase. And then, so let's emulate this show off thing. So we wanted a gem file. And that should contain source and gem. So we'll start with that. 
source https rubygems dot fork and gem dbase. Now we should be able to run bundle lock to generate the gem file dot lock, and that did it. Now to generate that gem set dot next, I'll show you what that looks like. What it is is a nix expression that represents oops represents uh, just the information that Nix actually needs to fetch each gem on which this show off thing depends. So you've got this set of dependencies. And what it's really saying is building a URL out of the name, the version, and this remote, uh, you can fetch a file that has this checksum in the end. And that's just what Nix needs to be able to fetch these gems. So we can build that by running, uh, I think the quickest way I can think of to run it is Nix run, yeah. Nix run nix packages dot bundix dash c bundix input gemfile.lock output gemset dot nix. So that's a bit of a mouthful, but when we run that, we should get a gemset dot nix. And that'll have the two gems that constitute dbase. There's dbase and then dbase Ruby core source. So you can see if I look at the gemfile.lock, I have those two gems. So now we have three files, right? Over here we had four files. The last one we have to copy is default.nix. So we're just gonna copy the contents of that. And there we go. Now we'll edit it. So like I said, we don't need this meta section at all. We just won't worry about it. Uh, our package name is dbase, not show off. And dbase, um, well, let's find out if it has any executables, right? So we're going to go to Je um, Google and search for dbase gem. So it is den of evil slash dbase. And if we look at the gem spec, we'll see executables. Well, OK, well, we're globbing for it. So it's going to look for anything in bin slash. And we don't have a bin directory, so there are no executables. So this is just an empty list. And then this pass through update script thing, I don't really understand, but I guess we can just change the name. And this might work. So that is essentially packaging dbase. Let's see if it works. So what we've done is we added it to our default.nix in the overlay root. So if we do git diff default.nix, we'll see, yep, we added that there. Now the thing is, the way nix works is we'll have nix packages always available, but it loads overlays, and those are specified in home slash dot config slash nix packages slash overlays. And we have this file, which is called Shopify dev, and it points at this misc slash nix packages overlay directory in wherever you last, wherever dev was running from the last time you ran dev up. So typically that'll be opt slash dev, the default dev installation location. But if you've cloned dev and you're working in there, the overlay won't actually be active. So if we list it, we'll see in this case, it is the case that the last time I ran dev, I ran it out of the, the dev source directory. So we don't have to do anything. But if you, you know, most of you would run this and see opt dev. So the way that you can solve that is you can run dev load dev to load dev from the source directory. And then this choice doesn't matter. And then you run dev up. And you'll see the wrench means you're running dev from its own source directory rather than opt dev. And then um, this would change to this path. So having done that, you run nix env i capital A nix packages dot dbase. And you should see it'll do a build and then complete successfully. So now if I run nix env query installed, I should see dbase. And in fact, I do. If this gem had any binaries, at this point, they'd be on your path. You'd see them in home slash dot nix profile dot bin, which is already on your path. But dbase doesn't. So I'm not totally sure if this is the right way to package dbase, but it is a way to package a gem, and that is basically what that is. So I was going to run this as a, a, a workshop, and I, I still might. I talked about doing a Nix workshop when I did that 
that uh, developer talk a little while ago. Um, I'm liking this format for now, I think, but this is something that could benefit from you know working along with it. So I'm not really sure. Um, let me know if any of that was was wildly unclear. Um, if you just totally didn't follow it, follow along with the Nix language, I would recommend um, nixcloud.io/tour. This is a really great introduction to the Nix language, and it's it's uh, really really easy to follow, follow along with up until you get to like page 29 or so, and then it gets into some very crazy functional programming stuff. And I would suggest it's quite safe to drop off when you get to the the tail end of the functional stuff. But yeah. Um, that is essentially what it is to, to package a simple mixed derivation. So if there's something in specific you want to hear about next time, let me know. Otherwise, I will just pick another topic. Uh, later.